Hello everyone, this is vlog number 8. Death Edition. And last week I've been to two funerals, which is a lot for a week. Um, the first one was a homeless man that lived in my street, and he was really awesome, and he died one day. So I went to his funeral, and there were a lot of people there. It was like half the city was there. And the other one was my uh, grandma's second husband. Which was moving as well. So this week was basically predominated by death in a way. Funny enough, also the YouTube videos I watched um, circulated around that topic. So the two topics that concerned me the most this week were capital punishment and suicide. And I would like to give my opinion on that. Um, Inmentum did a video on that, on suicide, on his graceful exit um, channel. And he's basically for a graceful way to end your life. And somebody responded to that, and it went back and forth for a bit, and then a few more people got involved. And, well, I would like to give my opinion on that. I personally agree with Gary on that topic. I think that a humane way to end your life is a good thing so that if uh, somebody who is in his right mind decides to go for whatever reasons that I am not to question then I think she, he or she should have the option to do that in a way that doesn't inflict other people like let's say um, there is often this argument that somebody says well if you want to go then you can just you kill yourself, nobody stops you. Well, first of all, they do stop you, but in case you do kill yourself, there aren't many ways to do so in a humane way. I mean, if you hang yourself, that's. I, I'd, I'd suppose it's pretty painful, and so are other options. I mean, you could shoot yourself, but having a gun is a, a problem in some countries <laughs> to start with, and. Um, even even like the, the easy ways as you call them with uh, sleeping pills even there you can go you can do it wrong like um, well I don't I'm not a professional about that but I have read once that if you uh, take the wrong dosage then you don't just fall asleep and die but you have just basically terrifying cramps for hours and um, First of all, so it's it's hard for you yourself to kill yourself. It's not nice. It's connected with suffering. Uh, but it's also inflicting other people. I mean, from the obvious, like I jump out of a window and onto somebody, to the less obvious, like I um, drop the hair dryer in my bathroom in the bathtub, um, I mean somebody will find me and maybe days or weeks later and I might be not that much of a very good sight. Just imagine a child walking into a scene like that. That's not, that's not acceptable socially. I mean you can traumatize those people. So why not have a, a clinical environment where you can just have chair, sit on the chair, get a certain pill and a medical observation so they can help you in case something goes wrong. You just die there, they know you're dead, they can see, uh-huh, time of death, to be do, and then they can, well, well, you can just have you right there so they can put you into the right hands right away and you don't have to lie around for weeks or traumatize anybody. So this, those are my thoughts on, and I mean, I, I know I, I often people say then that's euthanasia and and wear the Nazi flag, but um, I think it's 
it's really not it. I mean, there have to be regulations and laws to prevent this from being exploited, of course. But the fact that you need those laws doesn't make the whole idea wrong. Anyway, <laughs> uh, off to more fun topics. Uh, well, I'm, I'm putting some money aside. I'm going to go to England next um, next April. That will be fun. And, uh, and I got my report card back from school. Yeah, mm, mm, yeah, it's decent. Let's put it this way. It's decent. <laughs> Uh, and that's it for this week. Um, and Lizzie, I didn't forget that you tagged me. I'm gonna do this like sometime the next week, like Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> okay, and see you later.